With Season 2 of Rebels now behind us and Maul now being introduced to Star Wars Rebels, it's time to consider if Obi-Wan will make an appearance on Star Wars Rebels. Both Lando and Princess Leia, two important characters from the original trilogy, have made small appearances on Rebels over the last two seasons. So with the rumours of Rebels Season 3 possibly being the final season, now is the time to bring Obi-Wan into the mix. With Maul on the loose and his clear motivations to seek revenge against all those who have wronged him, the guy who cut him in half and his brother's arm off would certainly meet the criteria to be targeted by Maul. Maul once said to Obi-Wan on their first meeting during the Clone Wars, You may have forgotten me, but I will never forget you. You cannot imagine the depths I would go to to stay alive, fueled by my singular hatred for you. This once was originally the key motivations for Maul to cling to life so that one day he could gain revenge against Obi-Wan. Towards the end of Clone Wars, Maul exacted half of his revenge by killing Duchess Satine, who Obi-Wan was very close with and once shared deep feelings for. So clearly the motivations for Maul still remain as he never had the chance to kill Obi-Wan and in Son of Dathomir, their last meeting Maul told Obi-Wan not to worry, they would see each other soon. We know the history between these two characters is strong enough to warrant a meeting and the introduction of Obi-Wan into Rebels, however we also know there are some limitations as well. Obi-Wan has remained on Tatooine watching over Luke and only briefly used any of his force abilities in order to keep himself unnoticed and hidden during the years following Revenge of the Sith. For Darth Maul and Obi-Wan to meet each other, this would require Maul either attempting to track down Obi-Wan or having Obi-Wan leave Tatooine for some unknown reasons. We know Obi-Wan had little if nothing at all to do with the Rebel Alliance until R2 arrived in A New Hope. So if Obi-Wan was to make an appearance, he would most likely not be able to come in contact with any of the Rebels, or if he did, only for a brief moment. So the introduction of a character who could not help the Rebels would limit Obi-Wan's return to only being used to duel with Maul. Our first instinct would tell us that Obi-Wan may not stand much of a chance against Maul after his somewhat lackluster showing against Vader in A New Hope. However, I think most of this could be attributed to the limitations of fight choreography at the time and it being the first lightsaber duel to be filmed is the primary reason why Obi-Wan looks far weaker than the last time we saw him in his duel vs Anakin. I am sure his age and not using the force often would have affected his abilities and weakened him, but not quite to the extent that it appears in A New Hope. Star Wars Rebels has proven that it doesn't always take the obvious approach, and the obvious conclusion to Darth Maul's story would be the death at the hands of either Vader or Sidious, but perhaps it could be Obi-Wan who finally kills Maul once and for all. Let me know in the comments below if you see any chance of Obi-Wan making an appearance in Rebels and if he does, what part would he play? Make sure to subscribe and like this video to see more Star Wars videos here at Star Wars Community.